Which I Hey guys, what's going on? I hope y'all are doing well. It's another beautiful day here in the freezing cold Midwest, but nonetheless, we're gonna try yet a new set today. Uh, we're gonna do 20 rolls, just to test. We're gonna try this set out, give it a shot, see what we see. So far, testing has been, look, well, don't sneak, don't sneak that peek. Testing has been very interesting. Um, I uh, have been getting plenty of sixes, few eights, a few fives, a couple of nines. The weird thing is, is I get a ton of 11s. At least I have up until now. Um, so results are mixed, but this seems to be a pretty solid set. The set in question is going to be a 4-1-2-3. Four two, four, this has been referred to as post-poop. Why post-poop? I guess it's a, a stupid, you know, it's not stupid, but it's a, it's just a ridiculous story. It's just, this is the set that was referred to after my snake poop video. So this is the set I was going to do next. They're thus making post poop. No real other name for this that I can tell. Uh, 4223, uh, one of my weaknesses right there, if I can, if I, I get that pitch every now and then. So this is going to uh, potentially come back in and bite me uh, right in the cheeks, but uh, we'll see. But this is a simple 20 roll test, shooting from stick, right one, of course. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna give this a shot. Uh, I, this could be a good one, a very strong one to go along with the 4224. So, um, Let's make this a quick video, guys. Um, I'm happy to be back with you. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what this looks like. Let's do this. All right. Not going to drag this out. Um, let's just have a good test. Let's see how, uh, how we can do. Got our stack of 20 for the hard ways, for the points, which we're going to need. Just saying it. Let's make it happen. So, 41. 23. That's my LZ right there. That's what I'm going for. Uh, one thing I have noticed, even with this uh, rig that I have, I need to try and get a little bit of loft going. I, I, I find with this set, uh, I find with this set, <clears throat> a little bit of loft has not been hurting. Um, so, here lately, I've been. Uh, doing more of that direct path. A lot of those sets have needed that. Direct path, let's see where we are on this. There's the one, so over, over. So two pitch. Now nah, this one's way off. So, I have been kind of being having a more direct path into the wall. Okay, that was a bit far. It's a nine, four, five, nine. Uh, this one, I've been, I struggled with it first, and what I have found is that usually I have been landing kind of short up in here. That wasn't working for this set, not for me anyway. So four, five, nine. So what I have found is that. Uh, so that was wrong. That was a five. Okay, so that didn't twist too much. And a two and a three, so it was like a two, two quarters. So it is a half turn. Um, so this one I land a little bit uh, closer to the back wall. Where that is, that has been my sweet spot. Four, five, nine. Hope you all are doing well. It's a nice day here, it's pretty cold, but uh, it's a nice day. It's good to see the sun again, I'll tell you that. Oh, Benjamin. And that's what happens. You know, my brain is still geared up to land it right in here. I do that and I roll a seven. So that's why I really struggled with this set to begin with. Once I, there's my seven out. Um, once I changed my LZ, <clears throat> made all the difference in the world. I also noticed that uh, my grip on this, um, I have been using the uh, four finger grip. 
five, three, two, five. I have been using a three finger grip in the past, um, for a while now. And uh, that grip also uh, has given me some issues on this as well. So I've gone back to this, the single pinch. Makes a big difference. Two craps two. So that wasn't that bad. It's pretty close to my axis there. Could I have hit that spot any better? That's exactly um, right on it. Just want to give a shout out to you guys um, again I just want to thank you all you guys have been excellent um, really enjoy the comments that you guys have uh, advice um, some of you guys enjoy watching me being an absolute moron and I'm happy to do that I'm pretty good at that shit shit and there it is seven see I rolled it up here I'm telling you I forget that not every set needs to be rolled like that. Man. Okay. I won't do that again. Let's start making some points here. So it's it's something, you know, we have to, um, you know, practice. Uh, every set is going to have different characteristics of what it wants, how it wants to be fed, and cared, and nurtured. Had the height. Hit the LZ or very close to it. Four, five, nine. So uh, it's it's funny because um, up to this point, the forty-two twenty-four has been my go-to for nines, uh, fives, eights, and nines. Four two two four, and now I had the four one two three, and I'm landing those nines too. So I'm gonna take that information. How do I, you know? How do I calculate that into? How are my dice pitching and rolling? Uh, the X and Y axis. Axis. Um, that'll tell me a lot about my throw. Uh, what I need to fix. So it's all about practice and log your um, log your outcomes, guys. <coughs> Three, one, four. So not too much play there. So they're staying pretty close. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Now see, interesting. So that's a 527. That is really surprising there. I, I hit right in the center. 
Maybe I'm scooting it too close. Maybe I need to tape that down. Maybe I keep getting closer to the wall. It should be five inches. This back a little bit. Okay, right to the start of the C. Remember that. That's weird because, I mean, I nailed the LZ. That was a good path. It looked great. That, that should have produced some, some solid numbers there. That is interesting. I won't say that that throw was perfect, but doggone it, that was pretty close. Six, five, one, six. Oop. And sometimes, I mean, things are all, you know, you can throw the dice, oops, exactly the same and always get a you know more often than not more often than not get a different outcome until you can truly perfect that mechanic to control the dice that was nice that was nice that was nice kind of crusted in it's an easy eight we are almost done here guys i'm not going to make this long I'm not going to drag this out like I have on a few of my other videos, and for that I'm very sorry. I know that a few of my videos are extremely long, and I don't... I'm sorry about that. That also was nice. Let's do that about four more times. I'm gonna put these over here. One, two, three. I swear that was the same throw as I did the other time. That was a little bit short. Four, easy four. So, I mean, they're, they're just a, you know, a rotation or two off. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, the practice is paying off. I get, I'm, I'm just, oops, I rolled the dice. That was a seven. Six, one, seven. I, 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 I don't know, guys. It must be the trajectory. Maybe, thinking about that, I don't think that had that much loft. This is the most sevens I've gotten with this set, and I'm so glad that I could be recording this. This is a high for this. I have not gotten this many sevens with this set. It tells me I'm going to either need a round two or, man, because it, it felt so good, it landed just right. I, I guess with this set, maybe the, the uh, trajectory was just wrong. Three, one, four. For the most part, I'm not getting a ton of pitches here. The dice are kind of more or less staying where they need to. Six, two, eight. Okay, guys, one more roll. Let's hit a 22. Let's finish this out strong. Oh, 
one close. It's a hard eight. So let me bring you down here. Let's look at this here real quick. Okay, you guys, so you can see, I mean, hitting the four three times, the six twice, the eight three times, the nine four times. I hit hard ways on fours, eights, and tens. Hit that point on six, and the and the only other number we have over here that you can't see was a two that I rolled. So once again, I those sevens are what absolutely frustrate me. I'm just gonna have to kind of go back and look at how I rolled those. It has to be the trajectory because I nailed those landing zones and uh, still got the uh, crap number. But uh, guys, I I I hope you would allow. I'm going to come back for a round two on this. I think that it needs a round two. I want to do it so. Expect another 41, 23 very soon. This is the end of round one. So let's keep working on it. Let's see what we can get. Um, I just want to thank you guys very much. Uh, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for uh, all the everything that you guys do, everything that you say. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, um, me being an idiot. And uh, until next time. Crash Player is out.